today I'm going to be working on the blades again. You can see these little puny blades are not going to work. Not as good as well as I would like. So I ended up getting looks like a couple pieces, but actually it's only one piece of over here schedule 40 pipe. And we're there it is. Six inch. So we're gonna try that and uh, see what we can do with it. Now I got the reason it's cut into two pieces is because uh, when I picked this up, I was in the car and it wouldn't fit in the car as a ten foot section. So I cut it in half and made two five foot, which is plenty. Five foot is probably what I'm going to end up making my blades anyway. Four and a half, five foot, something like that. So, what we're going to do, we're going to mark them out, cut them out, and then we're going to try them out. Alright, so first thing that I want to do is make a mark down it. And the best way I can think of to get a good straight line is why don't I use this line and just make a line down it. Because you know that's straight in the middle of that pipe. So if I just underline these words right here. Like that. And that has to be a straight line. What is going to be the perfect formula for this? I don't know. But, we're going to try going with three inches on this side. Go with seven on this side. And I'm going to take and make a line. That mark to this one. Okay, from the end, I want to go in about six inches. Make a mark. And then, go up from here. Go up from that. Come up from this side three inches. So that should be right there. All right, so what we have, one straight line going all the way down. Then we have one line going down and six inches on this side, three inches on the other side. And then we have this one, which is six inches in from this end and three inches to here, which makes a little triangle. This is where we will mount. So... Now, we need to cut that out. This time, to avoid the dust, I'm using a jigsaw. Oh, 
there we have one windmill blade. I don't know if it needs to be that long. I can always cut some of it off, make it a little shorter, which I probably will anyway because the end of this, um, I hacked that apart with a old hacksaw and uh, you can see it didn't exactly, the, the blade kept curling on me, so yeah. Let me make sure. Yep, that's the right way. Okay, next what I'm gonna do Try to get it as close as I can to be in the same. Line it up like this. Alright, so I'm just going to trace around it. these back off. And the check three less than three. That's a lot less. template to make three other blades. Yeah, so my whole line is going to have to move up. Basically I'll cut on the, I'll cut on the outside of that line. And that should be, well, close. We have two blades now though. Alright, so I've already got one put on here. Just screwed, uh, drilled through the uh, arbor and through the blade and put these quarter 20 screws in. Let's see, there you go. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. Those are on. One more blade and I'll have it done or have that mounted. Okay, so now with the heavier blades, I made a small improvement to the arbor where it hooks to the uh, windmill and I welded a piece of metal on there and we'll screw that onto the wheel. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so I have some slightly bigger blades for the windmill. I would say the, uh, yeah, it's, they're taller than I am. Each blade is five feet. 
uh, they're probably a little out of balance I would say and I will probably have to cut off one or two of them a little bit to shorten them but probably not by much see if we can get this bolted on to the generator and see if, see what it does really at this point I really don't want any wind because I don't want to try to balance these blades uh, what I've done got it kind of propped up here so that it will sit still or will sit up and down like that so I can see which blade falls to the ground I got the chain took off so there's no resistance on these bearings notice it's just kind of rolling back and forth really easy so let's give it a little spin and we'll see where it ends up This one is heavier. a little heavy, I think. Apparently. Just a bit more. better okay well Zephyr has a windmill <laughs> it is sticking in the back this is of course not a permanent mount and it would probably actually go higher than that but and we're right beside of the hill so it's not going to be blowing right now but <laughs> That's kind of my idea right there for uh, times when you're um, camped somewhere windy. Let me keep backing up here to get the whole thing. So, like right there, you've got the windmill up here, of course. And it's not exactly uh, level either. We'll have to do some leveling and all that. But we'll have to give it a try here at some point. Uh, it's catching a little bit. It ain't gonna catch much because we're too low in the valley. But that's kind of the idea, a little bit like the idea. I mean, it's, it's gonna be more refined than that. I'm gonna have actual mounts. Right now, let me show you what I got here. All right, remember the spare tire carrier that I built with the tube, the square tube? Well, it's the same tube as this. And I welded it on here for uh, a spare tire mount. That way it kind of holds the tire out a little bit. Well, that's what I got it sticking in. And there it is, it's way up there. Well, it's 20 foot in the air. Well, about 22 foot all the way to the blades or to the middle of the blades uh no it would be about 20 foot because there's about two foot of, of the pipe that is stuck inside of each other because there's uh this one's an inch and a half that one up there is an inch and a quarter so yeah that's got a wind generator 
mounted on Zephyr. It's not working yet, but it's there. So, probably going to be about it for today. Don't really have any wind right now. I could move to another spot that would have some pretty good wind, but uh, that's probably going to be about it. I got the blades figured out, and uh, I know that they do grab the wind because they really grabbed it a while ago, and they spun up really quick. So I think once the wind starts really blowing, those things will actually will do pretty good. Anyway, I guess that's probably going to be about it for this video. Appreciate everybody watching. I'll see y'all on the next one.